Today we're going to be playing the Wood Elves, but without the Elves. Wood. Our leader is this bush, who buffs the ever-loving shit out of dryads, treekin, and tree men, which is quite convenient because they are the only trees, therefore the only units we can use here. The cost of this is that our elf units are debuffed, but who cares? We aren't using them anyways. We begin just south of Kislev in the Griffinwood, and fortunately, for once, the first time in any of my unit challenge campaigns, we actually have a full army of the units that we can use. We have Dryads, a Tree Man, and some Tree Kin. One very unique thing about Dreich's faction is that all of their forest spirits are malevolent. This is a side effect of habitual amphetamine use that causes them to turn white and purple while also gaining permanent frenzy and vanguard deployment. Now that may strike you as slightly overpowered, because it absolutely is. We begin by demolishing Garot of Mordheim. Uh, he has some Skaven here. They look pretty fucking weak, honestly. I, I'm not too concerned about this. Right now our spells are kind of shit, but we can already summon a unit of Dryads every single combat for free. So that is extremely valuable for us. We can get these guys melee attack and defense down to zero. Yes, zero and two, respectively. <laughs> I do love the look of all of the malevolent units. I mean, they are just awesome. They're like infected. By turning these captives into fertilizer, we can also get some Winds of Magic on top of the replenishment, both of which are very good. Now, we start with something incredible here. We start with one Amber. But what is this Amber? What do we do with it? Well, first, I'm going to go real quick back into this. Our whole faction has minus 10% upkeep for Dryads, Treekin, and Tree Men. That's awesome, but it gets even more awesome here in a second with the Wisdom of the Pine. In one turn, using this one Amber, we can get an additional minus 15% upkeep for all Dryads, Treekin, and Tree Men. Very good. And on top of that, construction time minus 25%, that's also very nice. So the Wood Elves, and also the Wood, is about one thing, really. The entire campaign is all about trees. But specifically, the big special trees, like this guy right here. We want to get as many of these big trees as possible, and then help them recover and turn into big, strong, healthy boys. Okay, that is their only settlement, so I will go for more time first. Decisive victory, low casualties. There we go, and now we are not paying very much for some pretty goddamn good units here. <laughs> now we just kill these guys. Could almost auto-resolve that, but not quite. I'm not going to lose that many Dryads over this. I think this will be a pretty decisive victory. We're not able to trade ridiculously well. And that's why I'm playing Drychat, because our options for trading super well are quite limited, given that we're melee only, and our melee units are both slow and defensive. That is honestly hard to deal with. That was not easy, and we did take a lot of damage, but we would have done so much better if that was an open field battle. Ooh, we get a lot of gold for uh, raising that. So we'll grab you. That's great. We slap you into this office, and now you have a total of minus 50% upkeep for Dryads and 25% casualty replenishment for them. That is absurd, and you're unbreakable. Hopefully we don't get a war declared on us for trespassing here, but we kind of have to. Okay, that's not too hard to deal with. We, we can win this pretty solidly. I'm glad I caught it early, though. This would have gotten bad if it's already this strong. This was one of the most beautiful ambushes I have ever taken part in. It was absolutely gorgeous. We charge them from both sides and just completely pincer and destroy them. Look at these little crackheads just charging in there. Oh my god. Okay, we are just crushing them immediately. Yeah, the, the MO here was basically don't give them a chance to fight back, and I think we succeeded. They actually could have done really well here if we let them. Ooh, they have a full stack over there. That could actually be hard for us to deal with. Add time. Although our goal is to cover every square inch of the planet with trees, sometimes controlled trimming is necessary for the health of the forest. Enter today's sponsor, Manscaped. With the overwhelming power of the Lawnmower 4.0's cutting edge ceramic blade and advanced skin safe technology, we can quickly remove any unwanted leaves. Fortunately for you, this majestic device's 7000 RPM motor can also remove hair from disgusting leafless humans with ease. On top of that, Manscaped's crop preserver ball deodorant can stop your forest from turning into a sweaty jungle. And if you have hair up top, the hedge trimmer is specifically designed to maintain or entirely deforest any hair on your face. Manscaped genuinely make great products, and they're worth a look for any of your, well, manscaping needs. You can get 20% off and free shipping with the code BRILLIANT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping using code BRILLIANT. Reject Twink Death. Embrace Manscaped. Now let's get back to the video. 
Oh, you reinforce if I attack that, but you don't reinforce if I attack this. So close, yet so far there. You're going to have to force march a little bit. Such an awkward situation. Please don't back off. He shouldn't, because their overall strength, yeah, is about the same as mine. I could auto-resolve that, but that would kill my entire army. Uh, do we want to rush this first? That's a good question. I think we do. You're fast enough to kill these guys and then get over here. Uh, the Halberdiers, though, no. No, we actually we back off here. We, we can't really wall camp them. Oh, they had no range units come in immediately. Yeah, no wall camping, that would have been shit there. Uh, you can use that. Let's see what that does. That does friendly fire. That does just friendly fire, because you can't fucking aim. That's great. Yep, they're done. Alright, good, good, good. Now I heal up. Beautiful. 249 losses versus 3,038. Alright, so total we're gaining 3 Hearthland health a turn now. Only like 20 turns until we hit max health, as long as nothing else goes wrong. That's not good. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this either. Oh, fuck. I think that I am better off probably tanking the growth and income. So in terms of magical wood elf bullshit, we have one more thing up our sleeve. Or rather, under our dirt. Uh, that is the deep roots. Essentially, we can teleport to any of the magical forests from any of the other magical forests. That is really good. That is awesome. That allows us to just go to another forest and take it. We are kind of lacking in movement range, so I think we just go for this one. So, let's fucking run it. Okay, you guys don't like the dwarves, the dwarves don't like you. If I kill you, the dwarves might like me. A hell of a lot of green boys. Unbuffed shit gobos. It's gonna be a little tight, but I can do it actually. I'm, I'm actually confident enough, because they're not buffed. If they were buffed, we couldn't do this. Yeah. Oh my god. We ought to resolve two full stacks of green skins. Like, the worst possible ones. Uh, with no losses here. Ooh, the Arachnorok Spider would hurt me. I think I ought to resolve this. I think it's just the most pragmatic move here. I think it's the least risk. We get a lot from raising that, but I think it makes more sense to just take it over. That is very, very good. Uh, Kara oh, no. Oh, no. Why do you not like me, my friend? Uh, you do like me a little bit after doing that, so maybe we can make this work. Um, all right. We go for this immediately. That's huge. That's massive. That's awesome. We grab that right away. Oh, those fucking Noblars. I really want to kill them. I really do. Ah, Missile Focus. That'll be very useful because we have absolutely none of those and we can't use them. So, fun. Great. Surprisingly, not the best auto resolve. The Noblars thought they had the right to just exist near a forest. They were mistaken. We will murder them for desecrating the forests with their mere presence. The Clash of the Titans here. Well, our Titan is a lot bigger than theirs and also... Theirs is really just a dude, while ours is a fucking tree elemental thing. And also, their army is just breaking the second we get into them. <laughs> They're already at like half health or less, oh my god. And now we just chase them down. They're gone. Oh my god, we actually fought them to the last. There's three remaining, including their lord. I think I just start moving back here, and then do this mission. I think that's the move. Uh, the Dryads are really good, and these guys don't have very much armor, so our lack of AP should not matter here. Okay, what the what the fuck is happening here? I have I have no idea what's going on. Why have my large units immediately gone up against their fucking <laughs> AP anti-large units? Uh oh, we need to do that. Oh, we get reinforcements from that. That's that's cool. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I I've never done this battle before. I don't know what's happening. All right, you debuff her because her melee stats are actually surprisingly good there. Okay, we get something. Oh, we get a whole another fucking army. We really don't need that. That's that is enough to just like handle half of this for us, honestly. That, we, we've gotten a whole army's worth of reinforcements at this point. I don't know what's happening here. I have no idea. There's so much happening. There's bats. There's trees. There's other trees. There's fucking eagles. And we're killing some elves. It's That is just so much happening in one small space. <laughs> that is one very scary tree. So now I guess we do actually need to kill these guys. Uh, I, I'm actually starting to see why we got so many reinforcements. And that is the army losses on them. That is a good amount of damage on us, but not more than we can handle. I don't believe we lost any units. That is awesome. That is awesome for our whole army and also for Dreicha specifically. How strong is that army? Not strong enough. Okay. Ah, well, that is extremely convenient. I think I can actually afford to auto resolve that. Then we just kind of take this. Oh, we can already get a branch wraith. Why are they so small? They're so small in that. Yeah, Earth Blood, Life Bloom, Dwellers Below. Immediately. Love Dwellers Below. I just noticed that's that's a skeleton. 
Okay, and you're okay. That's a little terrifying. <laughs> For all of their faults, the trees do have crackhead energy, at least the malevolent ones. Oh, they are attacking. They are attacking that. Oh, and we win the auto resolve. But we lose our entire goddamn army. <laughs> a lot of green boys. But we have a lot of our own green boys, although our green boys are trees. Except for they're not actually green, they're white and purple. I I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna try though. I think we can win this. I want to fight this into trees. I want to bait them into the trees, and then I want to murder them in the trees. Uh, we're going to toss this. Oh, that'll be good right there. That should be huge damage right here. Yeah, that's not much damage, actually, but it, it landed as well as it could have. Uh, their second army's coming in here, but the balance of power is still, like, slightly in our favor, I think. Uh, and this first army is gone. Fuck, I let them attack me here without getting my charge bonus in. I fucked up. That was a stressful fight, and I did not fight it well. But we still didn't take too much damage. That 20% physical resistance plus just having absurdly good stats on these guys is so awesome for us. Beautiful heroic victory. So much experience. Oh, that is awesome. I really do want to build all these up. I just need the uh, growth for it. And I didn't really consider that initially. I thought like, oh, I'll automatically get growth. But I really don't because my control is garbage here. It might be worth having a hero literally just to stimulate growth. And then that allows us to get more buildings that will long-term net us way more gold than this guy's upkeep costs. Uh, we want to just maximize the overall speed at which we are getting more trees. And I think that we go here next. You are going to die, unfortunately. I'm gonna fucking murder you. I take this because that's a small garrison. If this was a big garrison, this would not be winnable. It would be a hell of a lot easier if I had Lightning Strike here, don't get me wrong. But actually, I auto-resolve all of this. I auto-resolve two stacks of actual Wood Elves. The Wood beats the Elves! Three minute reinforcement time for both of those sections. That is incredible. Very awkward here, but it's more awkward for them than it is for us. Uh, you go there. And I think they're going down in a matter of seconds from now. Okay, over here, that's a bit of a problem. I don't want them to reform properly. I do not consent to be shot. No Second Amendment here, motherfucker. And I think that's the army losses already. Yep. The trees belong to the trees. And the wood elves belong to the dirt, where they shall rot. I'm tempted to raise it, but I, I want to have it at the highest level possible. Okay, it does start with some buildings and stuff. It's, it's not incredible. All right, we grab this first. Uh, this will be a relatively tough battle, just because we're not at full health. But actually, we still auto-resolve that with only two units lost. My god, this army is so powerful now. Ah, oh, you're starting all the way back here. How safe, how cautious of you. What if we start right behind you? <laughs> their, their general's already running away. Uh, we're not killing them by killing them, we're killing them by killing their morale. Both things work, and the second we use that, they're already running away. <laughs> and yeah, we won that. <laughs> Catching them off guard and murdering that lord immediately was so effective. Well, we didn't even kill him, we just had him run away. The leadership debuffs from taking damage are the highest right away. So if you can stack those really quickly immediately on a unit, then they will run away. And if they're right near the edge of the map like they were there, they're just gone. And therefore the rest of the units in their army will start routing because they realize they're woefully outnumbered all of a sudden. Ah, it appears that some imperial scum have wandered a bit too close to my beautiful forest. This leaves us with only two reasonable courses of action. Either we kill them and turn their corpses into fertilizer, or alternatively, we still do that, but then burn the fertilizer as they are unworthy to nourish our roots. I think the choice is pretty clear here. Uh, the bonuses from this are not great. I literally am just going to be doing this, both for the uh, hero recruit rank for branch rates, and more importantly, for the amber. I think we can take this, I'm not sure though. Oh, that's... Oh, we auto-resolved that well. Yeah, they failed to spot our ambush, that's why. Oh, that's gonna be a slaughter. This army is not good at getting ambushed. Oh, they just stopped. They just stopped into Dwellers Below. That's awesome. That's so good. How much longer will it last? Seven seconds. I'm fine with a tiny bit of friendly fire there. Oh my god, it killed all of the fucking Halberdiers there. That is insane. And that is the army losses. That was... That was record time there. 90 seconds to break an entire army. I do want to see how much value our lord got with that Dwellers Below. That was crazy. 1200 gold value, and all of these guys got like 500 on average, maybe a little less. No, I won't be able to get there. So what I want to do is I want to run here, get this, and then get the fuck back here. Um, once again, we should take pretty much no damage here. I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't know what they're doing here. It's not even like they're just clumped up at the front. They're clumped up in one line here. There's like seven fucking units in there. 
Oh, uh, I'm hoping they won't instantly escape. It looks like they might. If they don't, we will fucking murder them. Oh my god. That is beautiful. And it killed all of them. That killed all of them. 186 kills, 2400 value with that one cast, and they're all gone. They're all routed. Close victory? What the fuck is wrong with you, game? Invasion begins. I can't actually see that. Oh no. Oh fuck. That is so bad. That is the worst event I have ever seen. Here, though, we have a very clear way to deal with this. We killed them until they're dead. That is 20,000. <laughs> I thought it would be like 6,000 gold. 20,000 for one raise of a small settlement. Uh, we do have this here, and it does apply to adjacent regions, which I believe this is. Fuck it. We're gonna risk it. I feel good about this. So like in a normal Wood Elf campaign, what I'd probably do here is just be diplomatic, see if I can get some allies here, maybe confederate a few of them, that could be really good. But no, these disgusting Wood Elf scum are corrupting these beautiful trees, and they must be purged to the last. We are going to murder every goddamn Wood Elf on this map. That is the goal. We do also have Lightning Strike if we need it, but I don't think we do here. Oh my god, we could auto-resolve that. It's not a good one, but we could do it. We can do them dirty here. We can do them dirtier than Dan. Maybe we don't even go for these guys immediately. And we just wall camp. Yep, that's... Yep, that's a good one. That's that's a good dwellers below right there. God damn. Well, actually, oh my god, we didn't even fight this army and they got the army losses. Literally with this many units, unharmed. And not even involved in the fight, they still got the army losses that early. But yeah, that's also the real strength of the tree kin and tree men, holding things in place to cast on them. You basically just have a bunch of tree men, or tree kin, and use dwellers below on them when they're surrounded, and then everything around them dies, and they don't really take damage. 22,000 gold, or we could subjugate them, but I think we just take this. So much gold, so much income here, over a thousand already, and we can improve that. That's cool, we can just be friendly with you, why not? Ooh. Ooh. I genuinely think we are going to get more gold from that 25% post-battle loot. Plus those other bonuses are great too. Over here, we attack that. And now we go into wall camping mode. That is going to be very good for us. Yes, they got the army losses there. I do want to chase them down as much as I possibly can. And now I think we can auto-resolve this pretty safely. Not bad, not bad. And once again, we could take the gold or subjugate them, but I think we just take this. And we'll just get rid of all these stinky, disgusting, horrible elf buildings. Shield of the Forest. This is going to buff Dreicha's army even more. We don't need it, but look at that. 82 armor, 80 leadership, 47 speed, 61 melee attack, 36 melee defense, 60 weapon strength, and 33 charge bonus. Oh, and also they have annoyance of netlings, which reduces the effectiveness of everyone trying to kill them by like 15%. Oh, he is attacking. Why are you attacking that? I literally lose one unit in that auto resolve. Why the fuck are you attacking that, man? That's dumb. Uh, not bad at all. 1300 gold. Wipe them out. Oh, I forgot about you. I forgot about you. I thought I would have a turn of relaxation before I had to fight anyone else. Uh, they're going for the control points, it looks like. I don't mind that too much. That's actually relatively okay for me. Finishing off those stone trolls real fast will be good. You guys move back here. They are really trickling into me. The balance of power is getting a lot better because of that. Now we charge these guys with the little that we have left here. Okay, we slap that minus leadership on them, and we should pretty much instantly burn them down. We can't stay in extended combat with them for very long, but we can route them quickly. Yes, we are doing that, and that is the army losses. Okay. And now, we can take the Oak of Ages. Wait, Karsa Cone. Ah, fuck. Um, ah, seven turns. So I cannot do that for seven turns, or unless these guys break the defensive alliance. I think they're pretty likely to attack me, especially if I just, like, raid them. Oh, god. Oh, Wurzag. Oh, shit. I didn't think he could move that far even in Force March. I think there's a small, very small chance that we win this. You know what? Fuck it. I think we actually, I think we wall camp them regardless of the fact that these guys are up here. They might stick back with the rock lobbers and only use them. That's the ideal scenario. God of Lord Snipe. God of Lord Snipe. That is the only possibility here of winning this. 
We just don't let him run away. Okay, he's permanently broken. Hopefully he goes straight off. He's going the longest way possible, though, it looks like. Fuck. Oh, they broke through me here. They broke through my lines there. That's real bad. That's real bad. Even though I think we're going to lose this, the balance of power is a lot closer to even than it was before. Very valiant defeat. We killed a lot of those fuckers. Oh, God. Devastation. Yeah, I just didn't have a great way to get away from them. Uh, I don't know if they re-attack, though. I don't know if they can, actually. They can and they do, but I fucking auto-resolve it. I still don't have Earth Blood. I don't have Earth Blood to heal up my lord. That's a shame. If I did, this would be easy. But as it stands, I'm honestly almost tempted to auto-resolve it. I think I do better in a real fight, though. I don't like this. But once I kill Wurzag, they will break. Four health? Oh, fuck you. Come on, one more. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, there's so little left on both sides, but we barely squeak it out. I don't think we lose too many units here as well. We didn't lose the Lord, we didn't lose the Hero, and we ranked them the fuck up. Okay, we did keep most of the Dryads. Most is not many, though. <laughs> now you murder them. Beautiful little auto-resolve there. Okay, I believe we're done here. Yes, we have Amber. We have Amber. Oh my god. Oh, that is so good. We also got a shit ton of things here. Oh, we get all sorts of bonuses. Oh my god. Minus five cooldown for the Deep Roots teleportation. That is awesome. I did not know that was a thing. I fucking love recruitment duration reductions. They are awesome because this gets us to a point where we can get tree men locally in one turn. And globally, we can get Dryads and Tree Kin in one turn. And both of those are awesome. Those are fucking great. So I start by attacking you. Ah, they're starting coward in the corner back here. Well, luckily we have Vanguard deployment, so we can just immediately murder them. So what we do is we move forward, and then we kill them. And then we eat them. And then we turn them into fertilizer, and shit them out, and use them to make more trees. Oh yeah, they got the army losses already on that army. That is crazy. Okay, then we just auto-resolve this. Yep, no damage. Fine. Great. Okay, and now we can federate Durthu, and our income goes from 5,000 to minus 2,100. Uh, ew, gross, die. And now we have a very cool lord here, Durthu. Only rank 9, that kind of sucks ass, but he does have the Sword of Death. And we now have one turn recruitment from Malevolent Treatment locally. Uh, the problem is we still only have two local recruitment slots, and I don't know how to increase that. I don't think it's possible to increase that as the Wood Elves. I think we start this now. I probably shouldn't have started this now, actually, in retrospect, immediate retrospect. Next turn I do this, then the turn after I do this. We should actually still be fine. I'm not going to be able to get to all three of them, though. I thought they wouldn't spawn immediately. I'm not 100% sure if that counts. It's so close. I'm going to go for, I think, this one first, actually. Wow, that's not very strong. That is a very, very weak army. Oh, yeah, we can pause them in place here with this. That's crazy. Oh, my God. All of their cavalry are paused in place. God, the micro is actually hard here because they're just so much faster than us across the board. There we go. Now we're done here. He's so negative with me, but he's still not fucking doing it. He's not declaring war on me. Am I at a point where I can tank my reliability without fucking the campaign? I think it's worthwhile. Very low reliability. I don't know how to mitigate that more. Maybe if I broke the pack first, then this, that would have been better. Yeah, we just auto-resolve this. That is 40,000 gold to raise this, but it's more valuable to uh, take it for me. Forest Spirit, recruit rank plus two. That is very good faction-wide. That is awesome. We can also take this, I believe. All in one turn. All in one fell swoop. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll accept that. We'll accept that. Short victory achieved. That is beautiful. That is glorious. All right, we'll start this as well. Oh, really? That sucks. We can't have two active at a time? That is so dumb. And they take 10 fucking turns? That is such a lame, like, artificial limitation. And, oh wow, this thing's entirely fucking done and there's still six turns remaining on the timer. That is so cringe. I hate that. I hate that. Now you may as well just leave here because there's no fucking point of you being there. This is a weak faction. Fuck it. We'll grab this one. Why not? Uh, this will take a minute, but it won't be hard. They have entered my domain. And by my domain, I mean the trees. So now we use this. And they die. They thrive in the jungle. But what is the jungle made of if not trees? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, oh fuck, oh shit. That hurts. Oh my god, that was a thousand value. Alright, balance of power is in our favor now. It was so bad at the beginning. Yep, they have the army losses now, and they should be entirely wiped out, because both of those full good stacks were in a settlement. 
I think that we're a little strong now. I think this campaign might be over because I didn't even do a good fucking job of that. And we won that so ridiculously decisively. At this point, we're literally just going to finish off Orion and then that's it. They went down there. Uh, I should not have let this get as much value as it did. That is like 90% of the value their whole army got. And now Orion officially has no territory. I can murder Orion next turn because he took that settlement back. That is very good. That is easy to deal with. Uh, we will fight this just because it's Orion and therefore fairly interesting to see how badly we fucking murder him. <laughs> we do have dwellers below here. We will immediately use that right here onto those blade singers. They are so high value. That'll be incredible. Oh, those blade singers are gone. Just kill everything. Kill everything. Kill them all. That is the plan. We murder them until they're dead and then we continue murdering them some more, if possible. This is like one of the strongest factions in the game and I'm just obliterating them. I didn't even try there. That was, I thought that would be like a slightly try hard scenario. No, balance of power was dead even. Initial like loss auto resolve. We take 25% damage. If that, if that, that is bananas. Heroic victory, beautiful. Like we've already done the hardest parts of this campaign and we've won them so fucking decisively that there is nothing more that's like interesting to me from here on. The forests are saved. The elves are purged. And we now have a lot of armies made out of a lot of fertilizer, made out of all of our fucking enemies. Thanks for watching, a big thanks to my patrons and YouTube members as always, and if you want to see any more of my campaigns, then do. I, I have a lot more. You can watch them anywhere. Just click on all the buttons. Thanks for watching. Peace out.